欢迎收看今天的《文倩世界周报》。今天《文倩世界周报》跟待会儿十点钟的《文倩世界财经周报》，我们都将把重点放在两起。仇恨性的犯罪，以及英国的脱欧公投。这个小时，我们先来讨论发生在美国不幸的，在佛罗里达州 Orlando 这个地方一个夜店的不幸孤狼式的恐攻事件。这个事件如何定义？有好几个不同的角度。美国总统奥巴马把它定义成仇恨式的犯罪，而凶手为什么走进这个夜店？然后挟持了里头的人质，并且疯狂了杀死了四十九个人，有五十三个人重伤。他的原因是什么？到目前为止是一个谜。他多次的进出这家夜店，曾经使用过同志的网站在上面聊天。他的父亲说他痛恨同性恋。但也有心理学家认为，很可能因为他的宗教信仰是穆斯林的宗教信仰，不允许他变成一个同性恋，但他可能有同志的倾向。他死亡之后，所有他留下来的谜底，在美国引起了广泛的讨论。他在最终警方攻坚的过程中，直接打电话给九一一。九一本来是一个报警的一个电话。他在九一里头留下了语言说，说我效忠 ISIS， 而他死亡之后 ，ISIS 马上在他所属的相关的 Twitter 里头公布说，这个是我们的战机。六月十二号凌晨两点，连串的枪响扰乱了一场拉丁狂欢夜。Twenty-five-year-old Amanda Alvear was Snapchatting when the gunfire started. Amanda did not survive. Numerous cop cars out here. 这场九一一恐怖攻击之后，美国最惨重的枪击惨案发生在奥兰多市中心这家著名的同志夜店 Pulse。凌晨两点，正是营业结束的时间，大约有三百五十人还在店里头，因为这天是拉丁之夜，每个星期最受欢迎的日子。两点零二分，爆出枪响。It went with the beat almost until you heard just too many shots. It was just like bang, bang, bang. At 2:09, almost t e minutes after the shooting began, club management posts an urgent message to Facebook: Everyone, get out of Pulse and keep running. Oh my God! They're all shooting back and forth. The poster Anthony Torres wrote online: "People are screaming that people are dead," adding, "Crazy." <laughs> Almost three excruciating hours. Clubgoers hiding in the bathroom, trying to keep quiet as the shooting was taking place. He's hostage from the shooting. How, how did you find out? He was texting me and calling. What did he tell you exactly? That the shooter has them in the women's bathroom hostage and he's going to die. 30-year-old Eddie Justice was trapped and desperately texting his mother. 2:06 a.m. Mommy, I love you. In club, they shoot it. 2:07 a.m. Eddie responds, "Trap in bathroom. Pulse downtown. Call police." One minute later, three terrifying words: "I'm gonna die." His mother calls 911. He said he was gonna die and he loved me. That's the last thing I heard. His last response came at 2:50 a.m. He's a terror. Then yes, Eddie Justice died in the nightclub bathroom. Finally, at 5 a.m., a SWAT team uses an armored vehicle to smash down a door at the club, allowing some 30 hostages to escape. At 5:53 a.m., Orlando police tweeted confirmation the attack was over. I was able to peek over, and I can just see him. Shooting at everyone, and I'm just there laying down. I'm thinking, I'm next. I'm dead. So I don't know how, but by the glory of God, he shoots towards my head, but it hits my hand. More people are falling. People are running. Glasses are getting dropped. I'm getting covered in blood from other people. We know enough to say that this was an act of terror and an act of hate. The singer performing live at the Plaza, shot down two nights ago, and then this horrific act. So, what is happening to our country? 
杀戮超乎想象。一开始传出有大约二十人死亡，哪知最后死伤人数远远超过这个数字。And it is with great sadness that I share we have not 20 but 50 casualties. In addition to the shooter, there are another 53 that are hospitalized. 枪手是二十九岁的 Omar Martin. Martin was born in New York, the son of Afghan immigrants. He worked for nine years as a security officer at G4S Security, one of the world's largest private security companies. Investigators are looking into what led him to this horrible act. But you don't know why he did what he did. I'm not aware of at all. I wish, I wish he was alive. I could ask him the same question that you have. Omar Martin 已死。FBI 透过他与警方对峙期间打出的三通电话找寻动机。Around 2:30 a.m. Mateen calls 911 from the bathroom three times, pledging his allegiance to ISIS, other terror groups, and expressing support for the Boston bombers and Abu Salah Al Nusra Front, a group in conflict with the so-called Islamic State. The bombers at the Boston Marathon and the suicide bomber from Florida were not inspired by ISIL, which adds a little bit to the confusion about his motives. Martin 声称自己效忠 ISIS， 却连自己支持的是哪个组织都搞不清楚。不过 ISIS 欣然接受，公开称 Omar Martin 为 ISIS 战士。According to the shooter's father, his son did become upset after witnessing two men kissing in Miami. There were definitely moments that he would express his intolerance to homosexuals. 一方面仇视同性恋，另一方面 ，Omar Martin 却又遭目击者指认，过去三年经常出入他行凶的同志夜店 Pulse， 并且利用同志 App 钓男人。A law enforcement official tells CNN Omar Martin befriended several transgender women on gay dating websites and chat rooms. Investigators don't know if he visited the chat rooms for personal reasons or possibly for surveillance for an attack. 不过可以确定的是，在与警方对峙的三个小时内 ，Omar Martin 多次与现任妻子联络，询问妻子是否看到新闻报道他的消息。She has told investigators she had a suspicion when they left the house on Saturday he was going to launch an attack, even though he told her he was going to visit a friend. Investigators now continue to look at what Martin's wife, Nor Salman, knew about Martin's plan. The flag of the United States shall be flown at half staff until sunset, June 16th, 2016. 然而，伤痕永远不会消失。Wanting to smile about surviving, but not sure if the people around you are ready. As the world mourns the victims killed and viciously slain, I feel guilty about screaming about my legs in pain because I could feel nothing, like the other 49 who weren't so lucky to feel this pain of mine. I never thought in a million years that this could happen. I never thought in a million years that my eyes could witness something so tragic. Looking at the souls leaving the bodies of individuals, looking at the killer's machine gun throughout my right peripheral, looking at the blood and debris covered on everyone's faces, looking at the gunman's feet under the stall as he paces, the guilt of feeling. Lucky to be alive is heaven. We're going to start tonight by honoring them. There are more than a, a list of names. There are people who loved and were loved. There are people with families and friends and dreams. And the truth is, we don't know much about some of them. We want you to hear their names and a little bit about who they were. Edward Sotomayor Jr. He worked at a travel agency that catered to the gay community. His family says he was witty, charming. He was 34 years old. Juan Ramon Guerrero. His cousin said Juan came out to his family just this year. He was afraid they might not accept him, but they did, and they embraced his boyfriend as well. He was 22. Akira Monet Murray. She recently graduated from high school. Was planning to go to Mercyhurst University and play basketball. Scored a thousand points 
high school career. Did it in two years. Dream child. Dream child. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. Perfect. She was just 18. Accountants, bartenders, journalists, students. Bright futures extinguished in a hate-filled terrorist attack. We're standing up and we're fighting. So that's all we can do. All we can do is fight. Oh.